the growing sport of pickleball encourages getting up and moving, a little social interaction, and some friendly competition. So we have relocated. They have let us out of our cage. We're outside <laughs> Studio B and in the beautiful parking lot. It feels so good. <laughs> okay, so you may have heard that pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. And actually, Greater Houston Pickleball was an organization that was formed during the pandemic. And we're about to meet uh, four people who are pickleball players figuratively and literally. So we have Terry Stone, the founder right here of, uh, of uh, the pickleball organization, Greater Houston Pickleball. We also have the director of STEM E, it's a youth program, Andrea Bailo. And we also have Thomas Angelo with Houston Parks and Rec and Frank Rodriguez also with STEM E. Welcome to all four of you. I hope I got all of those titles uh, <laughs> correct. So pickleball is not just a popular thing. It's actually great exercise and it's a really great way to build community and this is one of the reasons why Houston Greater Pickleball right. was born. Yes, exactly right. So when we first started in 2020, there, there were a lot of pickleball players, but there were no hardly any facilities. So we said we need to get a bunch of people together that love pickleball and be and so we can talk to the parks and recs and the city and get some facilities and uh, equipment for so we can play pickleball. Yeah, and fast forward to now, you guys, in about two weeks, you're doing a festival and a tournament because you want people to come out. And it's not just pickleball. I mean, there's going to be cornhole, there's going to be food, there's going to be other stuff, but you really want anyone 12 and up that's been curious about pickle, pickleball and that wants to play to get there because it benefits one of your programs, Andrea. Yes, exactly. STEM E. Um, we have ex existed since 2018. We're founded here in Houston, but we really provide professional opportunities for youth through our uniquely integrated STEM and entrepreneurship programming. So we're excited to partner together. Our three organizations and this event will support all three of us. Yep. It's so important. And Thomas, when it comes to Houston Parks and Rec, I've noticed uh, when I'm at parks on the weekend, some of these courts are being converted. Existing That's tennis correct. courts are being converted to create more space for pickleball. Yes, that is correct. Um, we haven't done, taken anything away from tennis, though. Uh, we have put a couple of a number of courts on some of the existing tennis courts while still leaving lines. Got it. So it's just an enhancement for the tennis Correct. court that creates more lines so right. people who want to play yes. pickleball can so do we've that. We've done some redoing of courts and really, you know, the tennis players are happy that they're getting, you know, newer courts uh, from the pickleball that's being brought in. It's good. You're not angering anyone, right? <laughs> <laughs> I won't go that far. Okay. <laughs> and Terry, we're watching some video of some of the community stuff that's been happening with the pickleball. But, okay, it started in the pandemic. Why are you still so passionate? about making this happen it happened has it brought you a great source of joy it has and it's been it all started at my church and it's my mission because it does build just as you said community so when you go when we get together there's 20 20 people pickleball players playing on two or four three four courts and there's time in between and you what do you do you sit and you talk and become friends it's, yes. so it's great for community building it's so true and you know what i really love about it terry i i don't care if you're 15 years old 75 years old it seems like this is a sport everyone can play and can play together and i feel like your timing in 2020 starting this was perfect because that was a time yep. when so many people felt isolated yes. and just were craving something outside of the house absolutely yeah and andrea you're not a huge pickleballer like these like they're yeah. like super Super yeah, serious exactly. about it, but it is important that people come out because they're giving to programs like Parks and Rec, like STEMI, and that's something that you're super passionate about, right? Yes, exactly. I think the combination of us three, we're supporting not only youth STEM and entrepreneurship education, but youth sports, and we have to remember that we're supporting youth in a holistic nature. This is this is the, uh, building an individual up in ensuring their future success. So okay. cool. Before we hit our court, sorry we to stretch. jump in. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm just so eager. So this this is still, this festival is still in its infancy, right? Yes, but the dates, uh, this is the first year, so April 13th, yes. and this is happening at Memorial Park uh, Tennis Center. So the info is on our screen right now. All players of all skill levels are welcome. More info is available. We're gonna link to it on HoustonLife.tv. So mark your calendars because uh, it'd be great to see this festival just yeah. grow and grow, get bigger. Every year. And because there are so many pickleball players, if you say you like pickleball, this is something that could they want to make an annual thing. They want it to get bigger and bigger. So just come out and support. Give me one of those paddles, please. Okay, what do you say we get some paddles? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tess is going to partner up with Frank right over here. here. Frank. Terry and I are going All to right. partner up. And okay. uh, let's see how this goes. It's been a minute since we've played, huh, Tessa? Andrea, you cheer for me. You cheer for our team. <laughs> okay, Terry, talk us through this. Okay, here okay. we go. Some balls right here. So I'm going to serve. Okay, Terry's going to serve. I have serve. the balls. 
Uh, Terry's going to start. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Okay, I'm ready, okay. I think. You need to be on the baseline. Okay. Of course, I knew that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Terry's under Stay out of the oh, kitchen, sir. Tessa. Oh, no. And it's out. Okay, it out. okay, so he scored on me. Right. Okay. Yes. okay, so okay, we're gonna thank you. Is gonna switch now you serve, Derek. No, no, I'm No, Terry score. serves again. Oh, yeah, two serves. Serve What's a weird again. game? Okay, go into Frank. So, go, Frank. Underhand zero, serve. Zero, two. Ooh. Nice, very yeah. nice. Oh, and it's out. No, Derek oh, hit it. Good eye. Oh, Derek, we're on TV. Pretend it was in. So I put the line oh, there. my goodness. It is two, zero, two. Two, well, zero, come two. on, come on. <laughs> okay, Tessa, it's all you. Uh, oh, I got uh, this. Ah, uh, uh, you have to do that. Oh, oh all right, side out. Yes. Side out. And Tessa will be serving. To and I will be serving now. And you have underhand to do it underhand, which is something I learned. Here we go, Terry. Perfect. I know. A little short. <laughs> little short there, but it's okay. You gotta keep playing. Ah! Nice kill. Whoa! Oh, man, you got a kill. Hey, so there again. Do I switch? He's murdered. You stole He's that. Anger, <laughs> that anger stole management, that. Tessa. Okay. Anger management. I know. I'm seeing a therapist. Right, I'm seeing a therapist. It's Here we go. Work out. Oh, good serve. That's on the oh. line. That's good. Oh. Next one, you'll get all the way in. Nice. Okay. Nice, Frank. Derek, it helps if you grunt. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Told you. Oh, okay, okay maybe point. it only works if I grunt. Another point. Oh okay. my God. Well, I want to do this all day, so take ball, take ball. just just come back and join us. We'll be right back. Yeah, I'll tell we'll be you right back. I'll have an updated score for you. Hit it, Frank. Hit it hard. Let's go. Hit it hard.